I came from a, a phone call. I had an important phone call right now from uh, Dion, you know, from, from the, the brother side. Uh, they wanted to see if we could get together and have a meeting uh, to talk about a lot of the all the pedal that's going on right here, you know, all the, the troubles, all of the um, shootings and the, the the writing on the, on the walls all over and, and, and you know, the gang banging that's going on. Uh, what, what do you guys think about that, man? Hell, motherfucking not. I don't want to talk to them motherfucking fools, man. Why? <laughs> Yo, so you, look, you know, mi raza, you know, and that's them, you know? Why would I want to talk to them, man? We ain't never got along with those vatos. That's how it's going to work now. This shit's been going on for years, man. They say we invaded their neighborhood. <laughs> we're there, we're there we're just going to go out. I'll laugh. That's it, man. We're there, the you know, they can't get us out of that neighborhood. That's, that's part of our neighborhood now. I know that you guys, you know, have a lot of heart for your neighborhood, and I know that that that's their neighborhood. They've been there a while, and you guys been there now a long time. But now this is some lives involved. There's a lot of youngsters involved, kids, parents, homes, you know, cantones. So, you know, I'm asking if you guys could do a spot or two, so that way we could at least have a dialogue and talk about some of the differences. And I came to you guys because you have, you know, a say so in your in your neighborhood, you know. The other vatos are cool, but you vatos have palabra, you know, you have the word right here. And and I need I need to, you know, have that support. If not, they're asking me to have that meeting. So, you know, I, I need your feedback on that. You know? I am with talking to them motherfuckers. How, but how we know we're going to trust those vatos, man? You know, how, what, what, what are we going to draw up here, you know, so we can trust them? How do we know they're just going to come from behind us and jack us up? We go way back, Eddie, you know. we known each other since Chavalillos. I'm not gonna put my life out on the line, you know, for this junta, for this meeting, you know. I wanna be the mediator because I know that we need to come together, and you know that, Eddie, so I want you to, to, to just have, you know, believe that we're gonna be at a, in a neutral place and it's gonna be safe. All right? So it's not cool? going to be in their neighborhood? You know, no, not in their neighborhood, not in, in your no, neighborhood. No, going to go to their man. No, no, it's going to be, it's going to be in a place that I only know, and I'm working it out with my partner. The one that, that I'm working with, you know, the, the one that called me, we're working it out in a safe place that it's going to be better for all of us. Now, they're coming to us with a phone call to try to make this happen, and we could either do two things, shine it on, just forget about the call. I'll call them back and say, you know what? No dice. They said they don't want nothing to do with you guys. It's on. Or two, you guys could have this phone call and say, you know what? They accept your meeting. They want to sit down and just have a talk. Nothing's promised. But they'll start there. Check this out. We check it out. We see what's up. We don't have to agree, but we check it out. That's right. Ed. That's right. Ed. You don't have to agree. As a mediator between, we just check it out. Like you said, we don't have to agree. Just check this shit out, man. We're just a third party, you know, make sure you guys talk there, make sure that's fair, you know. There's no weapons involved, no no kind of, you know, nobody else there, just you guys, two and two. So is that, is that sound okay for you We can make guys? something happen, you know, hey, at least we can make a change for our families, at least. For familia, it's important. It's, it's time to change, you know, you guys, it's up to you, you know, so. Maybe they want to call some kind of a truce or something, man. man. Hey, fool, but fucking last night they just fucking they were lighting up the fucking block, fool. So good thing nobody was there though, man. You know, so you know there's a lot of there's gonna be a lot of fucking tension. There's gonna be a lot of fucking emotion. I'm gonna be pissed the fuck off when I'm right there in front of them. You know, so it's like what the fuck, you know. But I'm only thinking about the main thing. Family comes first, you know, man. Like you said, they light lit up the block, right? That's that's one issue we already got to put on the table, ready. But. You know, when we have this meeting, you know, you guys got to give me your word that it's going to be just strictly business. You know, we're going there for respect. You respect them, they respect you. We're not saying you have to hug and love and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to go and take care of your own. And they're going to take care of their own and we're, we're going to come to a common ground, you know, a place where we have an understanding. And we're going to have to man up then, homes. And, and, and we had to meet with them, then we just meet with them, and we see what, you know, we put out on the table, and what we could discuss, you know. So what do I say about my family, man, you know? All right, yeah, see. Kids, and so, you know, so do I, we both got kids. That's what know? I'm thinking about now that, you know, the mother. And, and that's what I'm saying, Eddie, you know, and I said, look, it, it's not about you're being weak, or it's about, you know, 
you letting down your neighborhood. It's about being leaders in your neighborhood. You want your neighborhood to, you want you know, make it better, right? So that's why this meeting, you know, if we do a mediation, we at least could figure out where could we start. Let's start somewhere. All right, well, I know your beloved is real, Doug. You know, and uh, we'll trust you on this. You know? All right. Uh, okay. You know, if we could do this in a neutral zone, you know, if nobody gets into anybody's neighborhood, because I ain't going to go over there and get shot up. No, no, no. I wouldn't, hey, I wouldn't take you near nowhere. All right, Kenna? All right, thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, yes, sir.